welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I will show you how you can play and start haptic feedbacks on your iPhone. Now, obviously, for this episode, you're going to have to use your actual physical iPhone and not the simulator. And I actually won't be able to show it to you because it's something that you feel using the iPhone. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be creating a VStack. And I'll do that by typing in VStack, open and close a bracket. And we're not going to get rid of the text. We're actually going to copy it or cut it and paste it inside instead of the text that says hello world we're just gonna say tap me instead and i'm not gonna do anything to the text first uh, because i first want to show you how we can use buttons to cause haptic feedback so i'm going to be creating a button just like this uh, there's multiple ways you can create a button this is just how i do it there we go and after that what i'm going to be placing is actually inside of the action itself that's what i'm going to be calling the haptic feedback so i'm going to say let impact is equal to ui impact Ooh, sorry ui impact feedback generator over here i'm going to open a bracket and i'm going to pick the second one and here that's when you actually get to put the style that you're after so if i just put a dot we have multiple options here such as heavy light medium rigid rigid and soft uh, let's go ahead and put light uh, or actually let's go ahead and put heavy for the button and after that so now that we created the impact or the haptic feedback we then need to start it so i'm going to say impact dot and then i will say impact occurred now if you call this anything else you're obviously going to call it over here and then say impact occurred and as you can see now that we used it it disappeared Let's obviously add some text for the button so we can actually see it and I'm just going to say tap me. Um, I'm not going to focus too much about the design here. I just want to show you how you can do the haptic feedbacks. So that's great and if you actually run this app, it will now work on the button. Um, but what if you want to add it to text? What if you have some action to text and you actually want to add it to? To do that, what we're going to do is first we need to create an extension. So I'm going to go here at the end of the page and I'm going to type in extension view and we're going to say fun and then I will say haptic feedback. You can actually call this anything you want. I'll open a bracket and inside of here I'll create parameters. The first one will be called style and it will be of type UI impact feedback generator dot feed oops, sorry dot feedback style. I'll then, I'll then say it's equal to dot and here again you have the option to put light or whatever it is because we picked heavy for the button for the text I'll keep it as light and then we're going to say some view and what we want to do after that is we actually want to open a bracket and inside of here we're going to say self dot on tap gesture and then open and close a bracket and I will say let impact equal to UI impact and we actually typed it up at the beginning over here so I'm just gonna do the same there we go and I actually just realized I did a mistake this is meant to be a normal S and there we go now now it actually works so that's actually actually all you need to do for the extension and I'm just gonna highlight it all and click on i just to make sure that you have the good um look here and over here we can simply go to the text and i will simply say dot and then i will say haptic feedback and if i run this app now it will actually work so again i will run it you won't be able to see anything but once i do run it it will actually work running on the right side and <laughs> like i mentioned you won't actually be able to obviously feel the haptic feedback but as i'm clicking on tap me the text and the button i'm definitely feeling the vibration in my hand and from the phone and if you do this you should also be able to feel it as well and i would recommend you playing around with the different styles so that you get to feel how it feels like to have different styles for the haptic feedback thanks so much for watching and i hope that you enjoyed it see you next time